Joining me now, we're going to swing over Wyoming Senator Cynthia Lummis, who is listening intently uh, about all this stuff. Uh, Senator Lummis, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate it. You know, I had a couple things for you, ma'am. One of them is, that you, I'm sure you saw this U.N. scare tactic that was out. And we got to cut fossil fuels by 60 percent. Listen to this. By 2035, okay? That's not like, that's, let me get my math right. That's 12 years from now. And if we don't cut fossil fuels by 60% by 2035, according to this UN climate report, we're all going to hell in a handbag. The problem is, and this is what I want to ask, if we did cut fossil fuels by 60%, I think you'd have a global depression. And I wanted you to weigh in on it. Well, I agree with you, Larry. The important thing here is that we... Uh, look at the way we can use the reliable resources we have in the cleanest way possible. Let's look at U.S. natural gas. It's much cleaner and abundant uh, than Russia has, and yet uh, we're trying to push uh, Europe into using uh, Russian natural gas, pay for it, and then that helps fund their war in Ukraine. Uh, so our international strategies, our economic strategies are completely backwards. We should be producing enough energy, hydrocarbon energy in the United States to use it and export it, but use innovation to make sure we're using it in the cleanest way possible. You know, Senator, I, right, of course so. And, and by the way, the U.S. does that. We make the cleanest oil. We make the cleanest gas, et cetera, et cetera. But just the idea, this is how stupid these people are, just the idea, ma'am, that you would cut 60% of a major energy source. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fossils are still about 70, 75% of the world's energy. So they want to cut them by 60%. And they don't think that's going to damage world growth? Really? Yeah, it's going to damage growth in every single country. Uh, you look at the African countries who are trying to emerge uh, from being third world to second world to first world country. They can't do it without adequate energy. The same is true with India. Look at China. They continue to build uh, dirty uh, power plants because they want to keep their economy going and growing uh, so they can become uh, the dominant world economy. Uh, the, really, the worst thing the, the United States could do mm with the UN report is follow it. <laughs> we have to right. be the world leader in energy, Absolutely. and that includes hydrocarbon energy as well. Can I say one more thing? I just got a minute, Senator. Uh, this uh, Joe Biden announcing yesterday or the day before this big increase the, through the Antiquities Act, quote unquote. There is such a thing as you well know. The Antiquities yes. Act, he's taking all this land out of economic development. Whatever kind of it could be fishing, it could be uh, fracking. I mean, just quickly, ma'am, what do you think about that? The Antiquities Act, is this good or bad? Well, the Antiquities Act was used to uh, great benefit of the nation in the early 20th century. Uh, but they used it in a way that was measured and reasonable in creating well-defined areas that should be preserved for recreation and for the enjoyment of the people. But now they're using it in taking millions of acres, mm. millions at a time, and taking it off limits to a whole variety of uses, including energy production. So the purpose of the Antiquities Act has been warped and bent in a way that I don't believe it was ever intended. I was afraid of that. I mean, he took 16 million, you know, 16 million acres out of the Alaska uh, the potential for energy development would have been terrific, and now he's going hog wild everywhere he can. Um, anyway, I, I don't think anybody focused on this, but thank you for your uh, for your comments. Anyway, Senator uh, Lummis, we appreciate you very much. Hope to see you soon. Likewise, Larry. Thank you so much. All right.